everyone, it's Tammy and we are going to make some tater tot casserole for dinner tonight. So as you can imagine, we need some tater tots. So this happens to be a two pound bag. And then you also need a can of cream of mushroom soup. You need a package of ranch dip mix. You need some real bacon bits. I'm probably just gonna use half of this two and a half ounce package. 16 ounces of sour cream and a pound and a half of ground beef, which is on the stove cooking now. I actually have three pounds going because I need a pound and a half for another meal, so I thought I'd just go ahead and brown it all at once. So what I'm gonna do first is add my tater tot to a big bowl. Go ahead and add about half of these bacon bits. Oops, I don't need the package in there. I will go ahead and add the ranch dip mix. Sixteen ounces of sour cream. Maybe would have been good to mix the sour cream and the dip together before I just added the tater tots, but oh well, I'm living dangerously. And then the can of cream of mushroom. And we're just gonna mix all of this together. It must smell pretty good because all the animals are coming over. I'm going to stir my meat real quick. I'll use the other half for some enchiladas later. Yeah, I would totally suggest not doing what I just did. <laughs> I would mix all the ingredients before adding the tater tots. So this is gonna take me a minute and I will work on this. All right, so I have it mostly mixed, I think. <laughs> Crazy, that was silly. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into this, um, eight, or whatever it is, nine by 11 or whatever, you know, the baking dish. Some of this is like refrozen. That was really not a smart way to do it, but crazy. And I'm going to take, and I also have cheese to add. So I think I'm gonna add a layer of cheese now. I should have done this differently. This is really not a very good lesson. <laughs> it's a lesson of what not to do. Add your ingredients prior to mixing the tater tots in. Sprinkle the cheese around a little bit. Now I'm gonna put half of the meat on top and then I'll try to mix it a little bit, I think. It's hot too. Woo wee. That's probably about half. Kind of tuck it in the nooks and crannies a little bit. And we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. So even though it's not perfect, it still will taste good. And this is about two cups of cheese. Actually, it's a little bit less. If you wanted to add some onion to it, it'd probably be good too. 
I might add some onion salt or something here. Let me see what I can find. I have granulated toasted onion from Pinsies. There we go. And that's just gonna go in the oven just like that. I'll show you when we're done. So I forgot to tape as cutting into it and showing you how great it was.